Okay, so he starts and he talks about that by looking at this truth table here. He said you might have noticed in the example we did right in the beginning now that the final column of the truth table, not P or Q, is identical to the final column in the truth table if then if Q, P then Q. Now just to remind yourself, this is what they look like. If P then Q is true, where P is false, which is the last two over there, or where Q is true, which is in the first and the third, which makes the second row false. Not P or Q, not P or Q is true when P or Q or both are true. Well, there P is true, um, Q is, uh, sorry, not P is true. So we're looking at where not P is true is where uh, P would have been false. So it's in the last two and not the first two. Okay? And then when Q is true, which is over there, which means here it's false. So both those forms look exactly the same. So can we then conclude that the statement if P then Q is true if uh, or is the same rather as not P or Q. Are these two statements logically equivalent to one another? That's the question. Well, let's see what we have as a definition for logical equivalence. Now, he says two molecular statements. Now, let me just remind you what molecular means again. It's statements that can be divided into smaller statements. Pretty much like the idea of a molecule in chemistry. So, he says two molecular statements, P and Q, are logically equivalent provided P is true precisely when Q is true. Then they're logically equivalent. That is, P and Q have the same truth value under any assignment of truth values to their atomic parts. Now remember the atomic parts, it's parts that can't be divided into smaller parts. Like the atom in chemistry, it is the smallest part, so it can't be subdivided into even smaller parts. Now here's the verification. To verify that two statements are logically equivalent, you can make a truth table for each and check whether the columns for the two statements are identical. Okay, so let's see how... Okay, so let's look at the statement. Are the statements, it will not rain or snow, and it will not rain and it will not snow, logically equivalent? Okay. Now sometimes rephrasing a mathematical statement can often lead or lends, lend insight into what it is saying or how to prove or refute a statement. Using truth tables can systematically verify that two statements are indeed logically equivalent. So let's see what the statement is saying. It is saying we want to know whether it will it will not rain or snow and it will not rain and now remember the or is important there and it will not snow so there's a not rain and a not snow in this argument so how are we going to write that? Not rain and not snow is the one thing that we want to look at, the one argument. The other one, it will not, not rain or snow. Now, I'm not introducing my symbols properly. So we call P rain and Q snow. So not P or Q and not P and not Q are these logically equivalent statements. Well, let's investigate. Let's go to our truth table. There's two 
possibilities P and Q. So we set up our truth table. We have true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Now that covers all the cases. Now let's first look at the negation of this. But before we look at this, let's look at P or Q. So we bring in our little crib note our reminder of what it is that we're supposed to do. So let's look at P or Q first, and then we'll write the negation for that. Now remember, P or Q is true when P or Q or both are true. Well, P is true there and there. Q is true here. They both are true in the first, so that's the result for our first statement. Now, not P or Q, the negation of that will just be the opposite of what's over here. So it will be false, 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 and true. And then let's look at not P and not Q. So let's set up the not P column. And we're going to set up the not Q column. I'm running out of space here. So not P will be false here, false there, true there, and true here. It's the opposite of what happened over here. The same for not Q. That was true there, so it's false here. It's false here, so true. True, so false, false, so true. And then we're going to look at the um, statement P and uh, not P and not Q. Now, a reminder, P and Q are true when both are true. So let me remove our crib note so we have more space. So we have the statement not P and not Q. Okay, so where are they either both true or one of them are true. True when both are true is what we are looking for. Here false, true, false, true, true, false. So there's only one shape or one space where this is going to be true and it's over here in our fourth row. There's only one place where that is true. So in every row, the truth tables for the two statements are equal. The two statements are logically equivalent then. Let's have a look. There, they both false, both false, both false. Huh, interesting. There, they both true. So these two statements are indeed logically equivalent because their status in each row is the same. We zoom in on those, they're the same, so the two of them are indeed logically equivalent.